In this video, we will explain the ins and outs of the Scholastic Assessment Test widely known as the SAT. The SAT is a standardized objective test of English and mathematics. In other words, the SAT measures the test taker's ability in English and mathematics. The SAT has two major portions, evidence-based reading and writing, and mathematics. Each portion accounts for 800 points, which tally to a total of 1,600 points. In the English portion, there are two sections, SAT reading and SAT writing. The reading section contains five passages on the topics of science, social studies, history, and literature. This section tests the comprehension and vocabulary skills of the test taker. Each passage has approximately 10 to 12 questions, adding up to 52 questions. This section needs to be completed in 65 minutes. The writing section contains four passages. Grammatical skill is tested in this section. Each passage consists of 11 questions, which totals to 44 questions. All the questions should be answered in 35 minutes. The maths portion of the test also contains two sections. No calculator and calculator section. It assesses the mathematical concepts and skills generally taught in high school. In the no calculator section, there are 20 questions that should be solved in 25 minutes. The use of a calculator is not allowed in this section. In the calculator section, there are 38 questions that need to be answered in 55 minutes. One can use a calculator in this section. However, this format of SAT testing will get discontinued from spring of 2024, and students will only be able to give the exam digitally. A digital format of the SAT has been introduced with some changes to the structure and testing procedure of the test, like the paper-based SAT. The digital SAT also has two portions, reading and writing, and mathematics. Each section is worth 800 points, totaling 1,600 points. In the reading and writing section, there are two modules in it. They are module 1 and module 2. Each module contains 27 questions and to answer each module 32 minutes are allocated. Instead of long passages, on the digital SAT, a short passage is provided for each question. Both modules contain questions of reading and writing. Similarly, the math section consists of module 1 and module 2. There are 22 questions in both modules that should be solved within 35 minutes. Use of a calculator is allowed for both modules. Cost the cost of taking the SAT is $109. The payment for the test can be made using a dollar card or by cash payment at the bank shown here. Before we get to the next section, it would be really helpful if you like this video and share it with other students just like you. Process of sending the scores. The scores can be sent to up to four universities free of cost before taking the test. After receiving the test score. The cost of sending the score is $12 per university. It is also possible for some universities to accept the self-reported score in the Common App or the score report that is submitted through the Guidance Counselor. Advantages of SAT Taking the SAT is strongly encouraged. It provides an edge over other applicants. In addition to being eligible for merit-based scholarships, the scholarship amount provided holistically also increases. The English proficiency requirement may also be waived by some universities if a student obtains a score on the English section of the SAT as stated on their website. How to study Being an objective test, the SAT isn't as difficult as believed by most students. With good strategy and enough practice, one can easily score upwards of 1350. We recommend preparing for the test through Khan Academy. Khan Academy is a free learning platform that provides 10 free practice tests. There are also topic-specific questions as well as explanations for both correct and incorrect answers. In order to prepare for the exam, one should first take a practice test, identify their weaknesses, and work on them. English portion. Most students struggle with time management, especially in the reading section of the English portion. Being a time-sensitive section, one should be able to read the passage and answer the questions in 13 minutes in order to absorb the contents of the passage quickly. Students should acquire the habit of reading journals and books regularly. Students should grasp a wide range of vocabulary and be able to determine the meaning of the words used in the context of the passage. For the grammar section, one should have knowledge of the grammar rules tested on the SAT. 
We highly recommend you read The Ultimate Guide to SAT Grammar by Erica L. Meltzer and Study Lark Guide to SAT Writing and Language by David Lynch to learn the grammar rules. Maths Portion Most students do not struggle with the math section. However, they often make careless mistakes that bring their scores down. Students should develop the habit of solving questions by setting up a timer for each section. We recommend students to answer questions of the no calculator section in 20 minutes and the calculator section in 45 minutes and use the remaining time to check for errors. Test centers. In Nepal, SAT can be given at five different locations. The Kathmandu International Study Center. Rato Bombalai School. St. Xavier School. Trinity International College. And the Ullen School. Subscribe and stay tuned to our channel to receive useful tips on the U.S. application process. Thanks for staying and we hope the very best in your application process.